Hi, I'm at the Penthouse Executive Club with Candida Royale. Thank you for joining me today. Tell me a little bit about the salon. Well, we call it the Sensual Toy Salon, and it was a way to bring women together and talk about sex. And what I do, it's sponsored by my line of natural contours, and so that what I do is I use the, um, the show and tell of my vibrators as a, a jumping off point to then talk about all kinds of issues around sex, like G-Spot, do we ha really have one, how do you find it? And, um, you know, what about our Kegels right. and, and uh, you know, the best way to have orgasms, how do you introduce sex toys into a relationship, all that good stuff. And so it was kind of an excuse to get to talk about really fun things, show my product lines right. at, all at the same time. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about your product line? What's your favorite toy? Of the line. Well, there's like a whole bunch, and I guess you could probably do a get it. Yeah. Look at this. I don't have to pick them all up, but they're all wonderful. The, the whole point of natural contours was that they were vibrators that were more discreet mm -hmm. and more artful looking and, and more stylish. I work with an industrial designer from Holland who creates them. And so that like the first ones, like the little petite, sat on the woman's pubic bone for direct clitoral stimulation. Right. And it's a lot of fun because you can actually be playing, putting this on yourself while, you know, your partner is doing you and having, Excellent. you know, I guess I can say anything on your website, yes, can you, I? Yes, you can, Candida. <laughs> anything you want to say. This is not prime time TV, thank goodness, thank <laughs> goddess. And so he could be doing you while mm -hmm. this is, while you're doing you at the same time. Excellent. And then we moved on and we like, we created the little Jody, which is um, our new and improved version of the Pocket Rocket. It's real strong. It's waterproof. It's a lot of fun. It looks like a little finger that's okay. on you. But the one that I would say is... Um, Your favorite? This started to be my favorite, and this is the Ultime. This was very revolutionary. What's the name of it again? The Ultime. Ultime. Thank you. I'm talking too fast It's here. okay. <laughs> and this wraps around the woman's pubic bone. Uh, it vibrates on both ends, and it gets the clitoris and the G the clitoris and the G spot. So for W stimulation. Exactly, double stimulation. And you know what they say, if you stimulate your clitoris and your G spot at the same time, it's like floating, mm. that expression. And then the newest one is the... The, we call it the Liberté because it gives you the freedom to explore all those delicious hidden away place, places with pinpoint accuracy. And this one's really, really nice. It's like we took the best of the L team and the Magnifique over there. And your we, earlier line, your yeah. earlier. Okay. And we slenderized it, and it's just wonderful for playing with and getting the G spot, and, and you know you can play with all kinds of areas and. It's got three speeds and a pulsating feature, and it's just really delicious. It's so smooth. I love yeah. this. It's so nice. It's it really, it really takes the form of the female body, and yeah. that's what I really like about it because yeah. I have some of your products. Well, oh, you good. Know. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Out of the best, uh, out of your your toys, which is the one that you really like the best? Is it this one that you just pointed out to I us? Would, I would. I think it's this one. I think it's the new Liberté. Um, mm -hmm. I, it really is a wonderful, wonderful little instrument. I've even had women who've never used a vibrator come and say, oh, I really like this. Although I do have to say, I forgot to mention this one. And That's the one I was waiting for you yeah, to mention. This is the yeah. one pounder. Yeah, this is the one pounder. And this is our Kegel exercise. Right. And, you know, it's a, it's a vaginal barbell and you use it as a weight resistance in, in your vagina to, to work your Kegels. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's great for women post-birth, post-menopause, but it's also just for any woman of any age the stronger your Kegel vaginal muscles are, the, the more pleasure you feel and the stronger your orgasms. So there, it's really important to stay in shape. And you know, we could just squeeze, we could be sitting on the subway train and mm -hmm. do it or in your, in your Pilates class. But this, the other thing that's great about this is not only is it great for your Kegels, but it's a, it happens to be a great sex toy. Excellent. You know, because of the shape, it gets the G spot, it's got right. weight. Very sensual. Yeah, it's, it really feels good, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. How often do you bring in the toys into your own personal session? Oh, we're getting very personal now, <laughs> aren't we? I know, just tell me to <laughs> shut up anytime you want to. Um, you, you know, it depends on if I have a partner or not. Mm -hmm. And there have been times where I didn't have a partner, and you know, I happen to think that starting the day with an orgasm is really the best great. Way to start it the really day. is, isn't it? It's like I start agree. your day I the agree. perfect way, have a little I orgasm. I agree. 
And so, um, and I do love, you know, what my favorite thing is, is actually to, I can even just use my hand on my, on, on my clitoris, but then I like the vibration inside, mm -hmm. like with the Ultime or the Liberté or the Magnifique. It feels like it's massaging your whole entire, like your, exactly. it's like your insides yeah. is weird, but yeah. I agree. I totally agree with you. Yeah, I agree that that inside massage, I love it. Now, you know, when I have a partner, which I have a partner now, I do masturbate less because we're having sex more often, you know, but then sometimes I even masturbate while we're having sex. That led me into my <laughs> next question. How often do you have sex? I'm actually in my very early 50s, mm -hmm. as you know, and um, and I always love to tell women that it just never has to stop. It never slows down, and that sex has just gotten better and better for me. If you take care of yourself, you you just get better at sex. You get hotter. Doing those Kegel exercises. Doing those Kegel exercises, <laughs> and and um, so I really think how often I have sex is more about. Um, and am I, how new is the relationship? Right. You know when you first start off with someone, that you just can't level. keep your hands off each yeah, other. Yeah. And so maybe you're having sex like five times a week. Now, because we've been together a couple of years and we're both so busy, we generally have um, sex like two or three times a week. And, but it's, it's just, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Right. And when we do, right. it's just so great. It's That's so good. great. That's What's good. the most interesting question that you've received from the salon? Oh, these, yeah, these are little cards that say, Dear Candida, I always wanted to know, and this is so that if they're shy, they don't, you exactly. know, they can do it anonymously. It stays anonymously, yeah. Um, the most interesting one, uh, I think it's the questions you girls ask. <laughs> <laughs> Should I out you? Should I out you? We used to hang out it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to know all about anal sex. How do I introduce it to my guy? All that kind of stuff. So that's your fun <laughs> questions, right? The anal well, sex it was, questions. Well, it was a fun one. I mean, most interesting, it's hard for me to... To, really, up, to yeah. really remember, I had there was a very touching one tonight. The woman, uh, someone asked, "What happens if it just hurts when yeah. you try to have sex?" And yeah. I really wanted to get to that one because it was like, "Oh, really? Someone has to answer this for her because it could be a uh, a, a condition known as vaginismus, where mm -hmm. you really need to uh, get surgery, maybe, mm -hmm. or more than likely, it's it's psychological, um, you know, and it comes from early trauma, maybe incest or rape or something." So I really wanted to address that. That's good. What's the funniest question you've gotten? Have you, is there one that sticks out where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe they just asked that. Can you be stunned, Candida? In my fam office, mm -hmm. we ha I have a file of the most bizarre letters I've ever gotten. I mean, if you, now you girls must go yeah, through this. Yes, we do. We get these guys like writing in who want to be in the movies and they send me photos and they're nothing but big erections, <laughs> big hard-ons. <laughs> Or they're like really kind of awful looking guys. Like, I'm sorry, you really wouldn't. You're not movie material. You may be exactly. great with your girlfriend, but you're not fantasy material. But but they got some big old dick, you yeah. know? And it's like, <laughs> like oh, look. And we're back to the guys who think that all they need is the big old dick yeah. to be a star. Yeah. Oh, we had like a really old guy write in, and he says, oh, you know, he's like toothless, oh. and. Oh, it was. How do you just, deal with that? Uh, how do you how well, do you keep a straight face? <laughs> we don't. We don't. He's not there, so we can. We exactly. Scream. My assistant is like, ah, look. <laughs> and sometimes we get the gorgeous guys. Oh, those good. are always fun, right? Yes. Yeah. I think you're awesome. Oh, thank you. And, oh, in my uh, book, I want to show yes, you. Yes, show your book, yes. please. Shameless self-promotion here. I want you all to know it's that. It's never myself. shameless. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be shameful. It's okay. <laughs> and how to tell an ache man what to do. Sex advice from a woman who knows. So I want you all to know about that too. And she is the woman that knows. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much, Kendi. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. Oh, you're awesome.